Yo YouTube, it's your boy Sosa London and I'm back again with another video. So in today's video I'll be doing a review on this bad boy here, Shiseido sunscreen. I hope you can see it. There you see it, you see it? Beautiful. So I've been using the sunscreen for about a year plus now. Um, and before this sunscreen, let me not lie, I was using that as the sunscreen, but that sunscreen was a write off. Like my face was always white and stuff. And I feel like there's there's not a lot of good sunscreens out there. A lot of them leave that sort of white mark on your face, which is a struggle to get off. So I've been using this for like one year, like I said, um, and I'm very pleased with it. Now, a lot of people actually don't wear sunscreen for some weird reason. I think everyone believes in this myth that it's only for sunny or something, some silly excuse and on the weather you should only wear sunscreen and the same people that say that even when they go on a holiday in the sunny they don't even wear sunscreen. But I'm going to be giving you reasons on why you need to wear sunscreen. So one, protect your skin from the UV rays, rays, UV rays, can't say that, I've got R factor. But anyway. If you don't know what that is, then I don't know where you're living. Number two, it lowers your skin skin cancer risk. Number three, it prevents premature aging of the skin. And number four, it helps maintain an even skin tone. But that's very true. One of the things which has helped my skin get back to its natural color and give me an even skin tone is sunscreen. I think people underestimate the use of sunscreen um, some days I do forget if I'm honest but 9 out of 10 even if I'm popping to the shops I don't play no game because before I didn't use it I've seen the effect now some people are gonna be like they've never used sunscreen in their life they've got beautiful skin they have anything to each his own innit? I personally use it and since I have been using it I see a difference so if you feel like you don't need sunscreen it's up to you but I would personally recommend getting sunscreen now this sunscreen was I believe I got it on a black Friday it was 25 pounds but right now I actually did just check on the website I got it from which is look fantastic it is back to 35 pounds but there is a 10% discount promo which they're currently doing so that will probably take you to about 32 pound 50 yeah, £31.50 if I'm not mistaken my math is good which I believe it is so I'm going to be showing you how I use it um, I've literally actually had my shower so I'm actually going to be doing my face routine so first of all I'm going to be using my ordinary glycolic toner as you can see so I've got my beautiful cotton pad now I don't always use this in the morning to be honest it just depends on how I feel because I feel like my face is acting up a little bit um, I'm going to use it today but in replacement of this what I do normally use is my micellar water which is the plug also but when my face is acting up I use this glycolic toner for like hyperpigmentation and all of that jazz so yeah but I would recommend using the glycolic toner. Um, I would say it is a bit harsh, it can be a bit harsh sometimes, but it is a chemical at the end of the day. So, just be aware of that. So, basically, finish using this now. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can see all of that dirt. It's not too dirty to be honest because I use my facial spinner. But when I don't, a bit of mud in the dome now. But yeah, next I'm going to be using my Ole Henriksen Truth Serum. I did a review on this on my last video, so make sure you check it out. Um, it's not cheap, so if you do get it, if you don't be bougie, so I use one pump. Don't be bougie. Look, I got this like last week or so. Look where it is already. I'm not sure if you can see where it is. It's like there. And I'm already shook. I'm gonna start mising it because it's not a joke. But yeah, my face is dry now, so. 
some people use their um, serums different some people actually use the stick on their face but I think I saw another youtuber saying that it's actually bad because bacteria builds on that stick so be aware of that the main is sim I'll put it on my lips it's really good for your lips I can't lie it does I wouldn't say it would make your lips that perfect but I've seen it do wonders on my lips when I use it so yeah, I need to wait for that to dry a little bit. Gonna take a bit of time. And then boom. Now, I don't know what's right or wrong. Some people say you use your moisturizer first and then you use your sunscreen after. Some people say you use your sunscreen first and you use your moisturizer after or use your moisturizer after and your sunscreen first. I think I think you get what I'm saying. But um I personally use mine first. Now I don't think there's a big difference if you use the moisturizer first or sunscreen first. As long as it does it does its job to be honest, like that's what matters to me. So I shake it up and I just put a little bit. Now one great thing about the sunscreen is it doesn't turn white, it turns invisible. When you're gonna buy this, please make sure you when you're buying it, they have different ones, make sure it says turns invisible i'm not sure if you can see that but make sure it says turns invisible because i have another one which is wet force and that's weird it comes out blue so don't play yourself like me make sure it says turns invisible so you can see how much i've got here not too much boom I'm gonna pull it on also sunscreen on my neck I wonder if people cream their neck am I the only one that creams my neck I think that's a normal thing but if you don't cream your neck then yeah you need prayer but as you can see the sunscreen it's even left me like I would say glowy you guys can see it for yourself the sunscreen don't like my face is not white at all completely glowy and that's it you guys can see it then next I'm gonna use my sheer butter from skin Silency. I basically finished this but I do have a re-up in store so I'm on point don't watch that then yeah I just use this amount then it literally just turns to butter in your hand well not butter it's sheer butter but it just basically melts in your hand if that makes sense it should do then i just literally lather it in my hands as you can see and then pretty much done i can't lie i think i did put too much here but at this time on my face because my face is looking like <laughs> I'm looking like chicken in the oven but I can just take some down because I definitely did put too much shea butter on my face but I definitely recommend shea butter as well also also because it's winter and it's extra protection and I can't like shea butter is just the plug it's literally like natural products are really the one that like, makes your skin smooth since I've been using it my skin is always glowy, I always get compliments on my beautiful skin. I'm not really surprised, you know, I, I would compliment me if I saw me too, but it's just really essential. I think everyone should use Shea Butter. Really good. But on my body, I don't use Shea Butter because that's way too thick. I just use it on my face, on my body, I just use like Vaseline, depending on what I have. So, as you can see, people, the glowy skin. You can see it for yourself, no flash. I don't need a flash, you can see it. You see it, boom. So, um, so yeah, this is pretty much it now. Pros and cons of this skincare. Well, I'm not sure if it's a con, but the normal price is 35 pounds. Now, like I said before this, I used as the sunscreen, that was like five pounds or something. But I feel like you pay for what you get. Now I don't know if there's 
there is obviously other alternatives for this type of high-end sunscreen but I haven't been recommended by anyone for any any other sunscreen and to be honest this is like one of the best sunscreens I think that's out there um, if you know of any sun, other sunscreens which are good do feel free to give me a recommendation but I don't think there's only any other sunscreen that will make me change because this is really good it turns invisible it does its job makes your skin glowy it's nice and smooth it's just simple I think that's the main thing with sunscreen like if it leaves the white effect I think that's the only thing and this turns invisible so what else do you want like really um, pros it turns invisible it literally doesn't leave any marks on your face it's literally leaves your face a little bit glowy as well I think it has like is it bronzer? Is it bronzer do I okay no that's I think I'm still worried but um I would highly recommend it if I was rate it at a 10 I would give it a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 actually there's no reason why I can't give it a 10 but I'd highly recommend it um also I'd highly recommend wearing a sunscreen in general there's this big myth like I said about the weather it doesn't matter if it's rainy, snowy, you should still wear sunscreen regardless and I think it's very important and it will also help with your skin complexity. But anyway, let me know what you think about this video, if you have any questions or anything, hit me up in the comment section, hit me up on socials and yeah, I'm out.